here with a little early stream that has not really been announced, but this is the rebroadcast of our game, Team Rocket against Prestigious Noobs. I am going to be your caster today, uh, the BX Hunter. I am joined by everyone's favorite, uh, just Moosh. How are you doing Aww. today? I'm, you know, better now that you said that, but I'm well. How are you? It'll be the only time I'll be nice. Although yeah, everybody, right. just so whoever ends up watching this back, just know that she really is a bully. Um, oh my god! <laughs> we're share playing this screen as we go along, so I'm going to just be getting along as quickly as we can. Um, we are going to be starting on, uh, what is this map called? Lijing Tower Control Center. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. And we went into it, um, we have uh, the brawl on both sides, we're seeing solid, um, pretty standard lineup from us from Team Rocket. It's so weird to be casting my own game, I know, but we have sweet. myself and Brow on our Ryan Diva, PowerPoint playing the Soldier, Larry on the uh, Junkrat, and Moosh and Prof over on the Lucio Ana against pretty much the same thing except there's a Bap and a Doomfist instead, uh, as well as a Daria. Um, Early fight here in the white room. Um, Princess gets a nice fire strike over onto PowerPoint. Um, oh, I charge in. I, Princess does go down, but I know I'm going to pay for my life with that. <laughs> Brow takes out Kale and Prof goes down. It's a very chaotic fight to start off over here. Um, pretty much trade is going in and out. XR is getting close to his uh, rip tire, um, but eventually, uh, yeah, especially with Acid Rain over on the Doomfist getting power there. Um, we're just, uh, Team Rock is just going to retreat uh, eventually, um, but Prof actually gets the 2k at the overextension from Princess and Mexi. Um, it's a nice pick, uh, play from Prof. Oh, and x gets Doomfist, who goes a little too aggro in. Oh, and Dima gets the 2k onto both of your caster today. Time. I remember that. We, I, was, I missed my fire strike by less than an inch. Mm -hmm. That's a nice trap onto Zelda, onto the Zarya from XR. PowerPoint finishes up the job. Um, it's looking like it's a, almost like a 3v3, or no, eventually uh, this reinforcements come in for Team Rocket, and the Nano actually goes onto our junk route onto XR. Um, not too shocking from us. Princess is going to try to go around, gets the pin, and the stun comes out. They eventually are going to paper with their life as well. I think this is going to be eventually just clean up for Team Rocket. It is. Um... It was a pretty chaotic fight for us to start off. It's almost like mm -hmm. feels like a VOD review, considering we it's have been strange. in this. Yeah, we're both in this game. We have the tank ults pretty much coming on the big line. Actually, it's a lot of ults coming on the line, especially for Prestige Team. But that's a big pick from Yumoosh to getting uh, Demo, who was kind of farming a little bit on this junk route. And you'll mm -hmm. see it throughout this map as uh, throughout the game as well. He's, I think we all know that Demo's pretty good, so yeah, that's Demo's a big early pick. Demo's so much damage into us. Mm-hmm. But that's still shield. so many ults on the side from really both sides, but really you see already five on the line from the noobs. Here comes the early grab. Oh, my shatter gets blocked. Um, but the boop allows me to block princesses. <laughs> Just so many ults coming out from everybody. Oh, and there's the 2k from XR. Princess does get people in the back line along with Acid Rain. This is kind of just going back and forth. Here, here's Brow and Prof still trying to fight this out. It's a nice purple from Prof. He actually gets a pick onto Demo too. The Demo comes out onto Brow and Punch, but no, they eventually get it even with the baby. A nice little purple onto Acid Rain. Mexi gets low. Immortality goes out. Well, it's the Nano onto uh, the BX Hunter myself. I walk through with it past the shield, and I'm able to take out both the tanks. It's pretty much, I remember saying it in the game, that was pretty much on the back of Prof right there. He gets mm -hmm. so many picks himself. He gets fat antis in the middle of the fight to allow both him and Brow to stay alive, um, and then pumps it in on me to finish up the fight. It was the only reason I was on fire here. I'm going to push in again the... Battle of the Ryan Shatters. First one gets blocked. Oh, actually stops Brow's uh, Diva Bomb from coming through and getting more picks, but all the resources pretty much go out and Team Rocket comes in and cleans it up. I go, I do pay for it's my life with, uh, too, yeah. yeah, onto me, but I don't know if it was going to be enough powers. PowerPoint, he's going to clean it up, and that's going to be the first fight, 100 to 48. That was pretty chaotic from both sides. I think you expect a lot of that with the control center on the brawl, uh, especially mm -hmm. having like the Doomfist and the junk rats there. Um, X line team are some of the better junk rats within our league. Um, mm -hmm. 
But we do we are going to see some um, hero switches. I know that from here. Obviously, Demo is going to play um, to start off with the Symmetra. Um, you're going to see it eventually here as well. But XR is also going to be switching over onto the Symmetra. I think everything else is the same. No, Acid Rain moves over to the Reaper as well. They really want to try to brawl on the point. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is really just a battle of who can gain the point control first with their sim, with their brawl. Um, it's very similar lineups from both sides. We're going to see who's able to grab it. And Team Rocket does move in first. And as the window comes out, immediate 3k boop. And that's so unfortunate that Power steals that boop from you, Moosh. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's Power. He's like the nicest guy, but that was definitely... Uh, a little Lucio boop action uh, getting stolen. But either way, that's such a quick um, team fight from Team Rocket. They're able to just immediately, before the team can even get onto the point, just boot them off and take control of this map. Um, and now they have the sim, and Demo's just going to switch immediately onto the McCree. Um, he actually picks PowerPoint, who was a little out of position for us um, on the side and while we're in, uh, on the point itself. I go dangerously low following the McCree son, but the... Sim turrets are just slowing them down, and that's a nice purple onto Princess. Um, there, Acid Rain evens up the fight, um, and so does Demo. Demo actually gets two picks. The TB is also gone. Brow's going to get their counterpart in Zelda, and Power eventually gets revenge onto Demo. Um, it's pretty much just like an even fight. Oop, caught in the kind of thing. Brow's going to just remac to keep his life up there. He gets rid of the immortality field. Power's going to get Acid Rain this time, and pretty much clean up. Oh, and I get sucked into that pin from Princess, but I think they're still going to pay for it with their life, eventually. And Brow's also going to get two with the boop. What a nice play. Gets Demo. And I know this is going to happen. They're going to eventually get this D-Mech onto Zelda. Mm -hmm. And just let Zelda stay alive um, in the baby. I'm trying to get that stagger there. Very much approaching last fight territory for prestigious noobs. And look at the old economy that, uh, that we're able to afford ourselves here, which is so nice. They know that they're trying to push into the white room, so XR is going to set up his turret, try to slow them down, um, and really it's giving them just a, one opportunity to fight. They try to do it. Oh, the early... Oh, with the Shatter, it's going to be able to get both Mexi and Princess, who are not within the Immortality field yet. And uh, that's going to pretty much just be it. There's really just the Baby, who is still not able to get back into their mech from when Brow staggered them out the first time. Demo stuck behind. He gets booped by Moosh, and he's not going to be able to touch. Um, and that was a quick uh, win for Team Rocket, looking very solid for us um, on Lijing Tower. Uh, I, oh, I have to leave the game forget. I'll give us some time to uh, unpack it before I just jump us right into Eichenwald so we're not just going right into maps <laughs> like that. There's no downtime between lobbies. These were set up. Shout out, by the way, to uh, Daddy Nizu who did run our lobby. Um, obviously, yes. we weren't able to cast it, but big shout mm -hmm. out and thank you. So at least we were able to run the game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but what, what, how did you feel coming out of that Li Zhang uh, map? Uh, obviously, again, we both played in it, so we guess we yeah. can get some insight uh, on our thought process. Ever done. It is. This is so strange. I don't know what to say, because uh, I don't want to just talk about myself the whole time, which is what I normally do in VOD reviews, which is what this feels like. I'm, um, I'm really much talking about myself here. So. Yeah, you are. <laughs> um, I will talk about them for a second. I think yeah. um, Princess does so much for their team mm -hmm. um, every single time they play. It's insane. Uh, yeah. The Reinhardt is incredible, incredible work from them. I think that Demo immediately switching to them McCree was super, super important for them. I think a lot of teams keep trying the Sim strat because, um, you know, eventually it's going to work. Sometimes it doesn't. So I think that not even giving it the time to not be able to switch um, was super smart from them to just yeah. really like, this isn't going to work, let's switch it up. I, I agree with you. Um, it's crazy how much... I, wouldn't, I don't want to say how much quicker we were with getting the Sim onto the point, but that really just allowed us to establish that point. Um, yeah. presence immediately. Obviously, we get the, the 3k boop kill um, to start off the mm -hmm. fight, and they're not really able to overtake it. I would have liked... I do like the switch off of the sim almost immediately. Mm -hmm. It's hard to play sim afterwards 
um, in mm -hmm. my opinion. It obviously can work. Um, I wish I would have seen something a little bit different, maybe like a pharmacy. Pharmacy is great on gardens. Um, yeah, try absolutely. to get some sort of little off angle because really they were trying to really just push in through the white room on the side, and that's a great idea. Um, but Team Rocket, obviously we were um, prepared for it once it happened. There's only one point mm -hmm. of attack that they're coming from. Um, mm -hmm. And then you obviously have players like Brow and Prof who popped off on their, their respective two maps, allowing us mm -hmm. to clutch and hold off on those long fights, even when it seemed like prestigious noobs were getting picks. But you are right. There are good players on that team. There are a lot of good things happening. Princess was someone who we were definitely super concerned with going into the match, mm -hmm. um, considering what they've done the previous two games. And you'll see it throughout here as well. Like They're still so good. Demo's incredible. Mexi obviously brings a lot of experience into them and a lot of shot calling. Um, and I'm blinking honestly on there's Zelda who's been around obviously with the uh, Corgi um, and I'm Acid Rain as well I think was also on Corgi so there's a lot of experience there I think this team is getting their foot in going um, mm -hmm. but that is super solid from Team Rocket I, again we won't go too much into uh, into that we'll go more into the games in themselves um, but we are going to move I guess on to uh, Iconwald which is map two here. Um, I'll load us in. I'm going to pause at the beginning so we can actually go over the lineup changes because I don't remember anyone who's come in. Um, but I do remember there was several changes. Uh, maybe I won't pause. There's plenty of time to uh, yeah, we go through. Um, we can start with the, uh, with the noobs changes. Um, Zelda sticks on the tank, but this time they have... Uh, KDB joining them. They're going to run the double shield. Princess moving over on to the Hanzo, something that we've seen them play for season, uh, many seasons now. One of the best ones who can play pretty much anything. Mm -hmm. Shadowblade comes in on the DPS as well. Um, they'll be playing the Soldier. Kale sticking over on the Baptiste. And Sleepy Noodle comes in playing the uh, Ana. Meanwhile, for us, we did have... Uh, it says Ravioli team, even though it should say Haley uh, coming in. I guess it's like their PSN names on this. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, but Rav comes in, we have Rappy come in as well, Cat and Anne, yeah, pretty much just the, that's pretty true. Um, and we're going to push in pretty much with this uh, pharmacy. Anne goes down early, I think they get hits with a Hanzo um, mm -hmm. arrow and then Shadow finishes it off. Um, Team Rock is just going to stick on the side right by the, uh, the tank, I believe, um, and just try to sustain while letting Cat farm their... Uh, they're nano while we wait for Anne to get back um, and just try to not take so much poke damage and eventually um, push in and break up the bunker. And here they go. BX Hunter is going to go and he goes dangerously low. Cat almost at that nano. She actually almost goes low. Um, I think they're just waiting on that. Brow's going to hit the off angle. And Zelda goes um, by themselves and the nano comes out and that's going to be the uh, um, finishing touch. Eventually, oh wow, that's a four assists from uh, Cat right there. Shadow is eventually there with the Mercy Pocket. Does take out Rappy, but I think uh, Haley, yeah, Haley takes out both of them. And eventually, and is also going to res Rappy. And that was a quick, uh, nice little engage from Team Rocket. They just wait it out, um, get everybody uh, together, and wait for the win condition of Cat farming her nano. Um, and once that happened, we kind of hard engage and press into their bunker, which is... What the Arista and the Sigma don't want, they don't really want people in their space. So we're going to push over on to uh, point two. Mata poking. Oh, that's a nice pick from Shadowblade on to Anne. Shadowblade gets two, actually, with the Mercy Pocket. Katie, oh, Hunter goes for the solo shatter onto Katie, but as that happens, the uh, nano, the bongo visor comes from behind as Shadowblade and Zelda just went on a little flank on their own and able to take out the rest of the team as well as Kale. Um, so that's pretty big from them, and I think Brow is, yeah, he, he was, was getting staggered. He gets staggered He's here. He's sitting there emoting. <laughs> That is a nice little flank, especially from specifically Zelda and Shadow. Um, the Bongo Visor is super strong, but look at the ult economy instead. Really, the only ult that came out was my ult onto Katie, um, and instead we're going to have five ults on our, on our side. Well, really, it's just the window that uh, the noobs have. So if they can pop it early, which they do here, um, they're trying to poke out the resources from uh, Team Rocket, but we play the natural cover. Eventually, we're able to push in... Um, 
the Immortality comes out. Haley goes down, but Rappy gets a 2k, and Brow finishes off one. Katie does get uh, Rappy eventually, but I don't think that's going to be quite enough. Princess is kind of farming from behind. No one's going to be able to kill him. Oh, and eventually uh, they do kill Princess. And the tanks are going to push up. They're going to try to hold off as they keep three in the cart. Someone's still contesting, and it looks like it's uh, Katie. A pretty chaotic fight. Katie eventually gets the mech. DPS pumping out so much spam damage for Team Rocket with both the Soldier and the Pharah and from so many off angles. Oh, Haley gets re on by Katie. It's, again, I don't know if it's going to be enough, but the staggers do favor the attacking team here. Oh, a nice shatter from Hunter, and that allows Brow to get the pick onto Zelda. Um, uh, yeah, it's just staggering it out, and which, again, can work for the defense. Um, Princess uses the Deadeye. It only gets and um, not a lot of value out of it for the for the ult usage. And, yeah, eventually uh, the staggers... Uh, the target prioritization from us wins out, even though the spawn advantage would have favored the defense. But it is nice stall from them um, to eventually uh, get there. Princess switches on to Doom. What do you think? Uh, I keep wanting to call you your real name. I'm sorry if I end up doing that. <laughs> I'm <okay>. really. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> the bongo and the window come out. Oh, but Rappy gets behind them. There's not a lot of value. The Nano comes out onto me as well. We're able to push past the uh, past the window and the Bongo that also got put out. Um, and that gets a team kill. I think they're going to be able to get their respawns. I know um, I'm setting up for a Shatter, but the DPS on the other side, they actually come out from the other door. And because of that, the ults come out from Shadow Blade. He gets the pick onto Haley. Uh, that was a nice... Uh, Working as a team, combining there, and they're able to get that flank over onto our DPS who are setting up on the high ground. Um, we were, I think, setting up for the opposite door instead. Or at least I was. I know that's what happened there. But that's a nice retick and a nice hold from uh, from the noobs. Mm -hmm. You're still sticking with the Orisa, which I'm not too sure about in this last point. That's a nice pick from Rapion to their counter. Oh, but they go down to Katie's uh, self-destruct. The Doomfist ult comes in. They're able to get Anne. Myself goes down to Katie. Brow throws over his uh, self-destruct. That does get Shadowblade. And Zelda eventually goes down to Haley, who pops her visor. It gets so many of the team low. Princess eventually pays for it with her life. They're having to hide in the corner and Brow pays for it with his mech to Katie but Haley's getting picks um, the vice uh, the Val comes out from and as well just trying to keep the rest of the team alive and pump out some extra damage Katie comes back onto the Reinhardt this time oh the shatter onto shadow blade I remember trying to go for Katie as well um, but they get past it a little bit but it's still just gonna be only them alive and um, following the anti. That's going to be it from the noobs. It is a nice hold. A minute 30 left on the clock is a good time pick, but not a lot to, that you want to have left on Eichenwald. I definitely mm -hmm. think that um, for us, we could do better there, but it's it's a nice defense, especially on that last point um, from the noobs. I think, again, I would have probably liked to see the Rhine come out from them instead yeah, absolutely. Um, on the last point, because once, once I was able to walk in on their Arisa shield, it you know, mm -hmm. it's not only so much that an Orisa can do uh, yeah, on a Ryan swing in them. Mm -hmm. So, I do really like the Doomfist switch. Um, yeah. I think we've always had kind of a hard time with Doomfists, especially myself. I just can't seem to avoid them. <laughs> I'm just a magnet for them. So, I think that that was, it was a good switch for them. Um, even if they might, you know, not know that, they just switched to Doomfist. <laughs> yeah. It was a good switch. A couple of switches. Um, I'm obviously pulling off the Orisa. Um, it's one of my favorite uh, tank heroes to play, so not not too shocking from us there. Obviously, Brow on the Diva as well, trying to eat the span damage. Rav uh, elected to go with the uh, Sim as we have the Pharmacy up top, and Cat's going to be able to help us on the bunker um, with the uh, 
with the Baptiste. Meanwhile, on the other side, it's a very similar comp as well, except they're going with the Rhine Zarya. Um, they have a pharmacy as well with a BAP, um, and instead they have Shadow Blade on the May. I like that a lot, especially to have the wall to help with the rotations um, mm -hmm. as they push in through this choke. So we'll see which direction they end up deciding to go with. Obviously, again, they do have the pharmacy to get the spam over the top. They're going to try to walk through. The Sim Turrets are eventually going to slow them down, especially Katie, who gets very low, and they're going to try to try to hide in the room with the Mini. Um, they get pulled back. Here comes the Immortality Field as well as Team Rocket just looks to keep the spam and keep the pressure on them. Um, again, really wanted to keep the Rhine away. They're just trying to rotate and avoid the spam damage themselves from all of us, especially these turrets. But the pull brings Katie back. There's no immortality as well, and gets Zelda. Um, Ralph finishes up the kill into Zelda, and Shadow Blade eventually goes down too. Oh, they're going to be able to get uh, Sleepy Noodle before they fall out? No, mm -hmm. Sleepy Noodle does get nope. away. No, they don't. Haley gets him. But I really like the uh, the pull with the Sim. It, it really slows down, and obviously with the Rhyme, with the Rush style, and they're not playing the Lucio. Obviously, they have the Pharmacy instead. They're mm -hmm. much slower, and this is going to slow them down with these turrets, with the pulls um, from them. They're going to try to push in again. The turrets are set up in a little bit different area. Um, it is going to slow them down, but I don't know if it's going to slow them down as much as before. Again, they're going to try to push in. The Bongo comes out for me, as well as the Wall from Rav. Let's see if they're able to win the pull, and there comes the immortality field in response. It goes down from Rappy. Oh, the princess gets the flank and gets the kill, uh, or gets the demic. Zelda also gets the kill into Rappy. Katie goes down, but princess now real no real counters for them is able just to uh, finish up the fight. As it's really just myself and Haley on the point. I go down um, despite the window. The TP is gonna allow for some. Uh, Stalls from Team Rocket, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, here comes uh, Rappy, who goes down quickly, though. That's a nice Tiger prioritization for them. Brow also going to go down immediately. The wall's going to stop both supports from coming in to help them. Um, the immortality just misses, and yeah, that's going to be, I believe, both of them eventually paying it for their lives. And I said, uh, no, I'm not helping. And I just walked out. So, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. <laughs> But that's a nice uh, eventual take, and it really started with Princess, and Princess being like the strong point for Noobs is not shocking. They have been yeah. so solid for so long, and you know, on both the tank and DPS now, it, it's it's really nice to see that they're still able to contribute so much, especially for this team that's really getting their footing as they get a whole new roster coming in, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, here comes the... Uh, with the self-destruct from uh, Brow gets two, as well as the Immortality Field. I don't know where they were all set up on that, but eventually uh, Rappy uses his uh, his barrage as well. It doesn't really get too much value, but Haley and Brow able to finish up the fight. And they're able to stop this cart pretty much before it even makes that first turn. Um, just off the back of uh, just two ults. And actually Rappy even just switches immediately off the Pharah. Um, over onto the uh, Ash. So we have the double hit scan to really deal with Princess, who again is just pumping out so much damage over the top. And look at the ult economy for the noob. If they can sustain this, yeah, here comes the first shatter. Um, oh, but it's kind of pretty much negated, but I, I really like this. This this really got me in, in the game. The uh, Blizzard came behind us. They just threw it behind us after mm -hmm. the shatter. Um, there's nowhere we really can really go, but this is nice sustain. The Valkyrie really helped keep him. Uh, Team Rocket alive. Kale gets the pick over into Brow after he gets demacked. Um, but Haley um, gets revenge for our team rep. And eventually goes down. This is kind of a chaotic fight here. As, uh, looks like just Haley and Cat are hanging out over on this high ground, over on the bridge, as the big hunter comes there. And they're going to solo or grab them over on there. The immortality field comes out, as well as the visor. Let's see who gets the pick. As Haley is going to get. Two with the visor, despite the uh, the grab, and as well as getting the uh, credit for I think Zelda falling off the map um, from Brow pushing him. That is uh, fight turning, and I really think it comes down to uh, Cat having the immortality field there, because otherwise Haley and Cat both die, and mm -hmm. the visor doesn't come off, and they're able to push it. It's a nice idea from Zelda. You see the two squishies up there, but. The Immortality Field is a broken ability. 
and we're gonna see the noobs are actually just gonna rotate and just try to take the high ground um, from us. Um, not really expecting, and Haley just KDB just comes in and pins Haley immediately. Uh, the rest of the team is able to just force that uh, uh, get forced off the high ground. The immortality field comes out, as well as the shield that keeps everyone alive during the blizzard. And Brow gets the remit kill onto Zelda onto their counterpart. Oh, the nice shatter from Katie, but they can't do anything behind it with everything happening uh, um, behind them. And the window comes out too. But Brow gets caught underneath because of it, actually. And they're able to just swarm him underneath. And this is going to force Team Rocket to have to give up some space without their off tank. Oh, the wall comes out. It's going to get... Does not pin Haley, actually. Just misses. The Reinhardt pin also busted for a different reason. Zelda's on the flank by themselves. Um, and they're really just going to have to try to bunker around this Orisa. Here comes the Immortality Field. They're going to... Oh, Princess gets... Actually kills the Immortality Field with the uh, Deadeye. That's interesting. Um, it gets Haley. This is going to be uh, eventual Sagar's... Oh, the Bongo comes out for me. I don't remember why I did that. Um, Katie gets rest right in front of us and then tries to take out the Bongo and going to take out half their life, and yeah, this is going to be eventual Sagaris. Here comes the Bob from Rappi. There's still three on the cart, um, the three actual players on the cart for Team Rocket. The Immortality Field comes out, and again, like I said it on the uh, on the noobs, uh, on our attack, this is... Swan Advantage really heavily favors the defense here. Oh, the Diva Bomb gets both the supports. There's no sustain. It's, that's going to allow Haley, um, as well as the DMAC, that's going to allow Haley to just clean it up with their visor. Rappi gets a pick, and they don't get the touch. And that is Team Rocket taking uh, map two. Mm -hmm. Again, looking very strong from us. I think there's things to uh, clean up from both sides, but that was a nice performance from us, if I if I must say so myself. Um, again, I can uh, hold off on going right into the next map. We can unpack what we just saw from Eichenwald a little bit. Um, okay. I guess we can go into the, uh, onto the, what we see from the noobs, obviously. What are you, what are you thinking, uh, I almost just called you a combination of your names. You, I'm gonna mess this up. You can say really... it, it's fine. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna dox you like that. Rao said the same thing in chat, like, it's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think that, um, Princess just has so much for their team on every role they play. I think that yeah. they're great. Um, yeah. They just did so much, um, and uh, I believe, is Shadow is the other DPS's name? Yeah, um, Shadow. Also, yeah, Shadow played also. They were doing a lot. They yeah. were doing a ton. Um, I think the May Walls are really great from them. Um, they did a lot. Um, I do want to let you know that uh, Brow did just dox both of us in chat. Um, full. Wow. Full okay, systems. Chris. <laughs> um, but I do think, and I've said my feelings very clearly. <sighs> Um, to you, uh, Cat played out of her mind that game. She did. And I think she is a big reason why that hold happened, along with Haley getting a lot of really important picks, and the same with Ravi. Yeah, we got to see uh, a couple of our new pickups in this uh, game. Obviously, Rappi and Cat, um, new pickups for us who played in that one, and Prof in the first map as well. Um, so it's nice to see us uh, getting these players incorporated and getting to see uh, them pop mm -hmm. off in these games. So mm -hmm. it's very nice to see um, across um, across the board, especially, you know, we, we made four lineup switches in that map. So mm -hmm. very solid all around. Um, again, I would have liked to see maybe a little bit more um, differences in, like, what the tanks were playing throughout. Like, they, they had, like, set game plans, I think, going into both the attack and the defense. Um, mm -hmm. And it, it felt a little rigid at times. I wish that the... The noobs would switch it up. But again, they are a new team. They are building up that synergy. So I'm sure that's going to come along um, as the mm -hmm. season progresses. This is still a strong team um, yeah, going a in here. Obviously, I think the team knows the schedule, uh, the team knows the score results here. Um, let me uh, see something. Uh, Moosh, did the uh, share play stop for you? No. Okay, cool. Because I, I got a thing saying that. It did, That's just because my have... internet's bad. Uh, it just gets blurry for a second, and then okay, if it okay, kicks cool. me out, it'll tell you. All right, we have I do 30 have a minutes left on this. Yeah, from yeah. Kip Kip. Kip Kip would like to know your thoughts on Jonak rumored to be leaving NYXL. Um, we can get into a little of the Overwatch League uh, spice. Um, again, shout out to Shanghai, big APAC fan. Um, it breaks my heart that Jonak might leave, but it's not too shocking. Mm -hmm. um, I think that he, especially as we move into Overwatch 2, and who knows. 
what the game is really going to look like um, next season, especially you know going down to the five players. Um, so it's not too shocking that he would want to go to a more win now situation, but he is the NYXL brand, and it is heartbreaking to see. Um, I think I would be less prepared for it if like last season it didn't happen and I didn't lose Savio B, uh, mm-hmm. Mono, and all of those at the same time. Um, yeah, absolutely. But it's not shocking, and who knows, maybe he'll still come back. It is just testing out free agency, but it wouldn't shock me if he went to some team was willing to throw him a bunch of money and, he, and prove that he still is one of the best flex supports in the league. I still think he is like one of the top yeah. five flex supports in the league. So. He's incredible. I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot of teams who are letting players test free agency, especially on the tank side too, as we lose one of the tanks. But mm-hmm. We'll get more into Overwatch 2 um, and Overwatch Oof. League as the season um gets closer eventually, you know, who knows when that beta will eventually come out, but I guess we can move into Bolskaya Industries, mm-hmm. everyone's favorite type of game type, at, speaking mm-hmm. of Overwatch 2, this will be gone, thank god. Thank god, the only good part of Overwatch 2. Um, let's, um, I'm gonna pause it this time, cause, yeah, actually, I, I can't pause it, it's not letting me pause, nice. whatever. Okay, talk um, fast. Differences here for Team Rocket. Uh, we have Rav moving over onto Tank. Um, with myself, we have Brow getting out of here. So we're going to roll for Orissa Hog. Power point, best DPS in Tier 3. He's playing his <laughs> Widow. I don't think anybody can touch him there. Rappy is going to be sticking with the Far. This time they're going to have B coming in. I believe this is their season debut just from uh, not being able to make the games. Um, mm-hmm. Playing the Mercy and then Prof over on the Ana. Meanwhile... Um, same lineup except uh, Live and Truth comes in on the Lucio instead of Sleepy Noodle. Live and Truth, um, one of the best Lucio players that I've gotten to play with before. So, again, they're going to try to go for more of a brawl. Oh, it's a nice uh, early hook from Haley over onto the Diva, but only onto the Diva. And Rappy is able to get uh, Kale. Oh, Princess gets me with the headshot, but B is able to res me. As the noobs are going to try to avoid the spam damage and try to take the high ground and give uh, Acid Rain the. Uh, Opportunity to do so, but that's a nice hook on the Katie. Yeah, yeah, they show themselves for a little bit. Asmin gets power point on the flank instead, and Katie's gonna be one and eventually goes down to Haley. It's so weird to see it say Ravioli saying. Asmin is <laughs> one, and they're gonna be able to get out or uh, try to escape, and I, thi- I think so, as we look to retake the high ground instead um, and not really give them that rotation. They're still. Hanging out in this corner, though. If we can, if we can spot that out, that's a big stagger. Um, and it looks like Kaylee does know that as well as Prof. But mm-hmm. eventually, they're they're able to retreat. Princess switching over to the tracer. Princess can pretty much play <laughs> any DPS that they want. Yeah. Here comes the pull again. They're going to try to walk in onto the Arissa, and that's what they're trying to do here. Katie goes low for it. Um, I try to pull away, but. The immortality field comes out instead. Oh, that's a nice pin um, onto Haley, but it's not going to do too much damage. Instead, I go down to Zelda, but um, there's not much they can do. And Haley gets the nano, gets the hook. Uh, recall comes out. I don't know if we're going to be able to see this. Power is also going to go dangerously low. B's trying to pocket him. Wow, he gets a pick onto that. And Rappy gets the pick onto Scooter, onto Living Truth. Pardon me. <laughs> over it. I'm gonna be messing this up, I'm so sorry. Power gets to pick on the princess and eventually Haley gets res. That's a nice hold, pretty much from uh, some big individual plays and a uh, nice sustain from B, who uses the Valk there um, to keep the rest of the team alive, but uh, both tank ults on the line for Team Rocket and everything online from pro- uh, prestigious noobs, no longer prodigy noobs. Sorry about that. I'm bad with names, I'm so sorry. Really? The recall comes out from Haley after she gets a after she gets the hook. Immortality field is gonna come out as well, um, and that gets destroyed. But they're just trying to fight here. They keep trying to rotate and take the Tigrone over on the right. Nice hook over onto the Diva, but oh, it's only onto the Diva, and because of that, uh, Haley's gonna pay for their life. The Shatter gets blocked, but everything else comes out as well as. Uh, the, what is it called? The self the shark comes out and they're able to just push in past it um, with the speed boost coming in from Living Truth. Um, and actually, they only use two ults there despite the shatter getting blocked. It's a nice need from Prop, but I think it's a little t- uh, too little too late. I'm just trying to farm some ult. Power's going to switch over onto the uh, Genji for point two here. I'm going to switch over onto the Reinhardt for point two here. Um, but this is a big ult economy, and the 
opportunity to snowball from the uh, from the noobs. Oh, the pulse bomb comes out, but it misses everything. That's first ult down. Katie's gonna go low. The immortality field misses them, and they would pay for their life. Ooh. And Kill gets caught by my fire strike, and that's pretty much gonna be ending the push. Really, though, they only use the uh, pulse bomb though, and that's a ult that can farm in less than a team fight. So, mm -hmm. not too much expended, but it does allow Team Rocket to stabilize and build some ults of their own, um, as Rappy now also has barrage. Prof, I think we'll be able to farm a nano. Yeah, in like two seconds. We're, yeah, we're we're taking the fight early onto them as they try to push over into the right. The B comes out super early, trying to push in with that, and I'm gonna pay for my life after that hard engage. But Rappy comes in from behind. Acid Rain gets oh only gets slept, but does take out the uh, on a oh poor Haley gets pinned off the map. Katie pay, um gives up their life to get the uh. To get the Roadhog, they need to finish off this fight if they're going to start getting some ticks here. Again, again, spawn advantage heavily favors the defense. There's no real tanks for to hold the point here for the noobs. The Immortality Field comes out, and we're just going to pretty much walk them in. Except, as I say, that Princess does get power, um, but no, we're going to... The tanks, I think, will take out the rest. The Immortality... Uh, the tanks are back, are they gonna... No, I think they're just gonna hard uh, reset, wait for the rest of the team to show up um, to get the 6v6 going. And Prince is gonna switch over into the Echo. And Rappy, I don't know when Rappy switched over to the Torb. I honestly don't even remember that when I play this game. <laughs> oh, Shatter gets blocked. Shatter only gets the D.Va, um, but in the trying to peel I end up paying for my life I remember going for the wrong target there princess actually gets both the tanks the beat comes out Rappy's able to get Katie but the nano blade comes out from PowerPoint gets kale gets acid rain are they able to get the echo as well no the echo takes them out The Diva gets purple, as well as Living Truth going down to that na uh, that anti from Prof. And again, the spawn advantage for the defense, that's 2 CP. It's going to be a little hard to break down if you can't really get the target prioritization. Oh, Katie was waiting for me. They get the pin onto me. Haley's trying to save me. Um, I get the counter pin, and the immortality field comes out. And thank you, Haley, for the bubble. It allows me to stay alive and get the pin onto them. And that's a big stagger onto uh, the Rhine. They're, they're going to lose like 20, 30 seconds for that. And I don't think they really were able to get out unless they charged all the way to regroup. But mm -hmm. it's a big stagger. Now there's really only one fight left for uh, the noobs. And they'll have maybe two ults, um, but they're coming into some big ones from uh, from us. Haley did call it. She wants Graf here. So in turn, I shatter them <laughs> and kill them all with the with the... Molten core. And they're able to walk it out. Now 10 seconds. Um, it looks like only Zelda and Kale are alive. Oh, Kale gets picked by PowerPoint. No one really can t to contest the Widow. Uh, and Zelda's going to be taken down early as well. Get demacked. And here comes the grab. It, it didn't really matter. They weren't going to get able to touch. But it eventually mm -hmm. does come out from... The rocket, and that's a good hold from us. Oh, I'm not allowing the tick. Again, the spawn advantage really helping us out there. Um, and, you know, they get picks, especially Princess, able to get a couple picks here and there um, throughout that map, especially when they were on the Echo. Um, get a couple of one clips on the Tracer as well. But they're not able to really follow up on it um, too, uh, quickly enough, in my opinion, and that's just going to allow the spawns to come back. Um, Especially when you have, you know, B playing the Mercy, able to Val can keep people up. Uh, Prof on the Ana as well is going to be hitting their shot. So mm -hmm. we'll see what uh, what happens on this point. Though we uh, do have a little bit different as uh, again they're going to really running with that uh, Orisa Diva. I think that the they know what their tanks like to play when they come out. Acid Rain's going to be playing the Hanzo this time, and Princess over on the uh, Torb. Kale and Living Truth sticking on their tried and true supports. 
Um, while on the side for uh, us on Team Rocket, we're, we're switching things up a little bit. Um, we have uh, Rav playing her favorite uh, hero, Wrecking Ball. Um, Power on the Doom Fist, Rappy on the May, and um, Prof over on the Zen trying to help the, the ball and help us capitalize on the discords. So, also in B playing the, uh, the Baptiste. But again, he plays pretty much all the supports for us, so not too shocking there. We're going to rotate around, try to take the high ground over on the left-hand side as we have uh, Rav distracting him over on that high ground in turn. Asrain goes low, but so does uh, Haley. Oh, and she pays for her life. But Rappy gets to pick after the Discord goes on to uh, Acid Rain. And that's an even fight. Um, a 5v5. VX Hunter, myself, are going to drop down. The Discord goes on to the uh, Diva, but can they capitalize on it? No, as Living Truth is actually going to go into the back line. Um, also get Discorded, but they're not, we're not really able to capitalize fully as we have Doomfist in the back line. Um, trying to get some picks um, going there. We try to help him out. And here comes the first pick onto Zelda. Kale actually also went down. Power pays for his life. The Discord over on to Live in Truth. Um, gets him. Haley goes down to Princess. Remit um, comes back in as um, Princess takes myself out. Oh, they get the, the Diva who's trying to remake. Princess already has her ult. It comes out. Prof tries to ult to keep up uh, Rappy, but just misses him. Um, as well as the Immortality Field. And it's just two, two supports. They have to get rid of this turret that's still pumping out damage for them. Um, they don't really get to do so. And I think this is just going to be a, a hold from the noobs. Princess is so dangerous on this tour, but it's crazy. Yeah, we uh, that, that turret needs to be focused out over there. I think that was a little... Um, but it is hard when you do the two supports is really trying to stay alive there. Um, mm -hmm. Team Rocket full regroup though. They're going to make that same rotation, and I think this time uh, the noobs are a little bit more prepared for it, considering where they're bunkering up this time, especially Zelda, Kale, and um, and Princess over there underneath mm -hmm. in that server room. Living Truth is trying to make it life a hassle, and Power is going to pay for his life. Katie, nice peel onto the Doomfist. Oh, I shatter the shield. I don't know what I'm thinking. I pay for my life. Asterine does go down to Haley, and here comes a nice Blizzard from Rappy. They're going to try to take out uh, Living Truth. They do get the pick um, onto them. They're tr they have a couple of fighting into this room, and here comes more Ultimate. Uh, Princess gets another Molten Core. The... Im the uh, Baptiste window comes out too. Prof gets a uh, pick. Power gets uh, two picks over on two. Switch onto the Tracer. Um, Hanzo Dragons comes out. Baptiste dies before the beat can save him from Living Truth. Again, the target prioritization, trying to get the Discord, um, Discord a target eventually to go down. Living Truth throughout this map, you're going to see, lives for a long time. And is mm -hmm. again, they're one of the better Lucius that I play with. It's not too shocking for them. I think they're going to be able to get a touch. Uh, Katie gets a touch and uses their Diva Bomb. Princess gets a touch, has to recall immediately. Um, Zelda goes down. Katie going there, and they're they're touching here again. Um, they knew that the draw was going to give them the loss. So um, at this point, we knew that we had the victory. Um, you know, that's how it is in the league. Um, with the four map protocol. So, Team Rocket, we know that we won here, and now it's really trying to push in and cap this last point um, to get the map win. The, uh, the Transcendence and the Bongo from each side come out. Um, Bongo does eventually go down. Oh, a nice shatter for myself. That allows um, Power to get two, but in the meantime, Acid Rain gets two for themselves, and this is still an even fight. Katie goes down as well as Princess. Um, and Acid Rain is one health. Oh, they're going to go down. The Baby Diva is also one health. Are they going to go down? Again, it's the same thing that you see from when uh, we were attacking. The target prioritization needs to be there on this 2CP with the spawn advantage just being so much in favor of uh, the defense. We try to focus out Living Truth, who stays alive for so long. The Dragons comes out, splits off the rest of the team, and that's going to really allow them to hold. Um, Rappy, still getting picks, actually. So is Haley, uh, who eventually goes down. Rappy, still getting picks. 
he's saying I'm focusing the Discord at Target. Don't listen to <laughs> what my captain's saying. But he does listen here. We do try to regroup instead. Um, we have Rav switching over onto the Diva, try to give us more of a sustained brawl. We're still keeping on the Discord. That's a nice um, immortality feel from BN to stop the uh, Princess's Pulse Bomb. A nice Shatter gets three from me. Oh, but I think I pinned a little too far, and that's going to allow them to peel for uh, peel for the rest of the team. The trance comes out. Oh, but B gets remacked on by KDB. There's been several remac kills in this game. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. pretty funny. Uh, Haley uh, gets killed, but Prof eventually goes down after the dive. It's not a lot of peel. Uh, Rappy with a 3K as well as the DMAC. Rappy is really trying to help us win this point. I get the pick onto Acid Rain, but Living Truth does get Rappy finally, and they finally go down. And this looking like no, they get the immortality field out. Kale stays alive. The pulse bomb comes through, and that's going to bring Milo. Katie finishes off the the dragon comes in as well as the the diva bomb, and again the spawn advantage is so strong um, for the defense. And despite Rappy's heroics there, it is just not enough as. I think we end up getting like 33.2% on that tick. It was so close. Um, I do remember in the game really wanted to focus out Live and Truth. He, mm -hmm. The Lucio was so slippery from him. Mm -hmm. But really, we're trying to focus the Discord target. Katie gets a little too aggro there um, and pays for their mech. Princess is being just a nuisance in the back line, though, and really trying to stall out the... Uh, the progress as we try to push in. We're looking to get some big ults on the line from uh, the new from Team Rocket. The Shatter does not get the remaking Diva, unfortunately, but the window does allow for the damage to come out as well as onto the Discord. Again, may the need Team Rocket needs to clean up this fight quickly. Rappy's getting picks, but both myself and Prof go down in the meantime as Kayla actually switch over into the Moira. Rappy gets another pick onto the Lucio again. Um, but I don't think it's enough. The d comes out, the Dragons come out, but the Flux is going to finish this fight off from Zelda. Um, and that's a draw um, on this map. I remember in the mm -hmm. game itself um, being a little surprised at the draw, but it was it was really nice stall um, from the yeah, noobs. It was such a good stall from them. So yeah, good just showing for their, their team. Yeah, I'm gonna, in the meantime, while you do your stuff, I'm gonna reset the share play. While I do my stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna reset the share play so you can uh, talk about what you, you obviously, again, were not in that map, I don't think. I think you're in the next I one. I was not. Um, yeah. Yeah, I am in the next one. I I was really, really impressed with, obviously, we both said the same thing. Um, Live and Truth is one of the best Lucios I've ever seen. Um, they are so, so fast, so slow. It's so hard to kill them. They just so stay slippery. alive the entire time. Yeah. And I think both the DPS were doing such an incredible job at focusing out the people that they needed to focus I, I out. Just Princess on that Torb is a menace. Yeah, I'm good. I'm loaded. Okay. Uh, Princess on that Torb is a menace. Um, yeah, farming uh, Molten Core, especially on that first point. Yeah, absolutely. It's just such a good showing from them. And I know that they had spawn advantage, but they were really focusing the right people. Um, I really like... Yeah. Happen. And obviously, again, they knew that they needed that... Uh, they needed to win the map. They couldn't draw this map out, and they needed to uh, win that first point to do so. Um, mm -hmm. And they really tried. They, it was, again, another like hard point to really try to clean up and finish them off. So yeah. um, that's just this tire good prioritization from both sides that you know that happened on their mm -hmm. attack as well. But this is still a really strong team that is uh, able to do it. But that is the draw. That is the uh, at that point it was the uh, confirmed win for Team Rocket. Um, they're going to move into the last map, Junker Town. Um, I do not play this. I'm very happy um, that I don't because I hate this map. Um, but instead, we're going to have four. We'll start with the blue team again. We're going to have the same tank lineup. They had Zelda and Katie. That seems to be their Arisa um, type lineup when they want to run that poke lineup. They have those two come in. Um, Shadowblade is in, and Demo actually came back in for. Uh, for Princess um, this time, um, and we're going to have uh, Sleepy Noodle and Live and Truth this, uh, for this map on the supports. 
Meanwhile, for the uh, Team Rocket, we have Brow coming back in from myself, Rav staying in on the tank, Power on his Widowmaker, um, Xlar is coming in on the Pharah this time with you pocketing him, and um, we're going to have B over on the uh, Zen um, to help again with the Discords, helping out the uh, Pharah, uh, the ball as much as they can. Um, so it's a nice uh, dive with the Widowmaker as well. Um, nice little whop. Um, from Team Rocket. <laughs> the way this is going to work, there's going to be a lot of coordination from Team Rocket, especially to break down this bunker um, with the double shield. So if they can call out their dive targets um, properly, um, that's a big pick onto Demo from B Ant over on the Zen. Again, making his uh, season debut this time. Always nice to have him around. Mm. Brow gets back in their mech. XR already almost at his uh, barrage, by the way. Um, with the damage boost from you, it's really helping them farm. Power is on a crazy flank right now. I did not see that in this game. Um, but he's all the way behind them. XR is going to finish off the fight over onto Zelda. And um, yeah, they're. What this comp is going to allow um, Team Rocket to do is attack from so many different angles against this bunker, really try to engage quickly in on them and disengage if they need to. Um, and when you have players like the Farah up top with the Mercy Pocket and Powers Widowmaker um, f going on crazy flank, he actually goes on a crazy flank here and pays for it his life this time. It's going to happen sometimes with him. Um, so he's all the way in there. They actually just finally capped the point. It was that quick and another remake kill how many remake kills happened in this game <laughs> quite a few what were what were we doing demo is actually going to pick uh xr out of the sky um it's nice to see demo coming back in especially how well he did on the first map mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. but they're prepared for it brow goes up there actually gets uh flashbang there's three on that high ground as a uh, the Sigma and the Mercy are also up there um, for support, and Dima's going to get power again um, with the Mercy Pocket really helping out. Um, the card's still pushing, or actually, as I say, that stops. Here comes the Bongo from Zelda. Meanwhile, XR switch over to their favorite Junkrat. Oh, that is so big from Brown. Not only does it get the uh, the Bongo, but it gets the just ulting Soldier. Um, again, we already saw what the Bongo Visor can do for this team, so that's a nice. Uh, Nice little diva bomb from there. I don't know if the uh, mines were 100% necessary in that fight, but that's okay. They farm quickly. Um, both the portals on the line from Team Rocket, and they're going to not really be able to get a contest the noobs. Uh, that's just going to pretty much just be point B taken quickly. They're going to try to push in and get some staggers here as well. Um, they do. Zelda tries to help out and save the rest of the team, but dies instead. The trance allowing the push super aggro. Um, but instead, the Flux comes in return. Oh, and Demo's going to get two and a half K. I, I always count the Diva as at least half a kill. And <laughs> Live and Truth finish it. But as that happens, uh, XR gets two of them own. B Ant gets another as well, and that's going to keep the point pushing. Oh, Zelda's pushing in on the Monkey, but it's, they're pretty much by themselves. The Discord is not going to finish off the fight. The Immortality does come out, though, as they try to keep him up. They almost got B... Um, for it, but that's gonna allow uh, again Team Rocket just keep this cart pushing. It's, it seems like there's almost two fights happening. Um, with the fight underneath, um, Power is just getting hard dove by both of those tanks in the back. That's so unfortunate for him. But uh, again, the cart's gonna continue to push as the uh, rest of noobs are dying in the back line. Haley dies to uh to Demo, but Brout throws a bomb over the top. It gets the uh, Living Truth. Um, kind of trades going back and forth. Again, trades here do favor the defense, but Power's going to get a couple. He gets a Deadeye coming too. Doesn't really get anything. Sleeping Noodle's actually going to get them instead. Um, but Haley is just spinning to win. They're trying to stall at this point for as long as they can. Trying to, again, clean up the fight. Make sure that they're getting the discorded targets. Um, so this card can continue to push, but it Zelda had a nice primal to get BM in the back. 
Oh, the Riptire tries to finish off the fight, but unfortunately it does not get anything. And that's going to be the cart stopping at around like four meters left. Um, oh, XR can't get out to the dive tanks, um, finishing him off. But that's okay, there's still three minutes on the on the line for uh, for Team Rocket. And we're going to see a couple of switches. Rav goes over onto the... Actually, we see both tanks switch. Um, we get a Ryan Zarya just straight out. Um, I don't think they're... Oh, they had you switch over to Lucy. You can tell me about like what the hero changes, um, thought process were as we go along with it, I guess. But uh, power does um, eventually die there. Um, super squishy, and he's just gonna switch over to the McCree. I think I always try to play Lucio when uh, Brow plays Ryan, just because mm -hmm. I would like to get them in and out as quickly as possible because they just do so much. Same with um, Haley on the Zarya. Yeah, and you obviously already have the trance as well. That allows them to stay alive here. Haley does go down, but the trance is going to keep the rest of the team alive. Um, Living Truth goes down. They're trying to brawl out on the point. And again, there's dive tanks against um, these brawly tanks here. Here comes XLR's Riptire again, and it's just going to get the final two um, trying to stagger. And Living Truth does not get a touch. Two minutes left on the clock. That's a good time bang for uh, Junkertown. Um, XR kind of farmed his uh, rip tire there, especially considering the last fight ended with him not getting anything with it. Mm -hmm. And Speaking of farming, said, Sh Shadow is, oh my goodness, just absolutely farming these visors. Yeah. It feels like they have one every single fight. Agreed. Both their DPS, all the DPS for the noobs are kind of out of their mind. Obviously, there's Dima here, yeah, but absolutely. we've talked about a bunch. Princess was doing well on all of their heroes as well. Um, mm -hmm. So they, look, they definitely look super strong there. Um, I don't remember what comes out on the on the defense uh, for the on, on round two here. You're in the game, so that's great to see. Oh, I, I don't remember. That, All right, so we have XR going on to the uh, <laughs> three days ago. Uh, we get the Widow battle. I think everybody pretty much expects it here on uh, Junker Town, and especially mm -hmm. with uh, players like PowerPoint and Demo, like they're. Some of the best hit scans in this tier, so it's not mm -hmm. too shocking. Um, they're sticking with the dive tanks on their attack as they have the Winston Diva um, with the uh, Bap Zen. Well, we have the uh, Ryan Hog. Interesting, interesting choice from Ravioli. Same, but you know it always it can work. We have been playing a lot of Hog um, on our team, so that's true. You know, yeah. I think he's super strong right now, especially you know. Just for just trade it for his pick potential and for the less ult mm -hmm. that he puts out, like with his buffs that have come through. Mm -hmm. um, but they're gonna have to play on the low ground and Demo with the early two picks. Ooh, Demo, both onto XLR and to B in. That's very nice from him. That's gonna open up the fight big time for uh, for the noobs um, as Team Rocket's just gonna have to give up so much space because of it um, with both of those heroes down. Yeah, that's it. Team Rocket's going to have to let them take this to, uh, corner here. But as I say, that power gets a pick over into that. Over into Shadow Blade. Oh, nice hook and pin over into Zelda. Tank Synergy really just taking out Zelda right there. Um, that's their main source of entry with the, uh, with the Winston gone. So I don't know if I really like Dive tanks like the Winston over on Junkertown point A because it's so open once you get past uh, this high ground or once you get past this corner and again mm -hmm. Zelda immediately gets hooked this is actually really nice from Haley over on to the Roadhog um, just getting the hooks and able to pump out damage right there a nice shatter onto two gets Living Truth it gets KDB Living Truth goes for it um, goes down as well as the uh, DMEC. The nice hook over onto Zelda as well. Demo still getting picks though. They're able to get you, unfortunately. Um, Demo was again he was kind another of a freak. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it's kind of funny to me. Uh, Shadowblade's kind of like annoying in the background. Oh, they get hooked by Haley. Haley's having a game on this Roadhog right now, and power mm -hmm. actually over even with Demo having the sights going up, um, is able to get him. Um, and puts his own sights up as well, allowing the rest of the Team Rocket to see exactly where it's going. And we're at two minutes left on this uh, on this first point defense. 
And we're going to see switch. Zelda's actually going to switch right off of the Winston and go over onto the Zarya. Zarya I Diva, again, Zarya not ideal with the two off tanks, but... You know, it can certainly work, especially in Tier 3. Here comes the Pulse Bomb. Nice kite back. I don't know if the Immortality Field was 100% necessary on it, but that's okay. It'll, it's better to be safer um, with the Mist coming out. Um, both windows come out. It's a nice early window um, from you, as, and then Haley is going to push them back against their own. Really, this is just you guys trying to hold this corner, and I think that's ideal here. Oh. Oh, well, XLARP. Saves it um, after their Diva Mom gets you out, gets both of their supports instead. Nice hook over again on Zelda. Demo gets uh, B, so there's no supports on the line for Team Rocket. Um, spawn advantage will be for the attackers here. Katie needs to just reset after getting demeked. And I think that's not going to allow uh, Demo's picks to uh, get capitalized on, unfortunately. Power is going for crazy jump shots right now. I. <laughs> You'll see that sometimes from him. He's a kind of freak on the six. Um, Demo switches over onto the Echo. Shadow Blade over onto that Soldier again. I like I like that spam comp coming out from them. Oh, Katie gets low. Oh, there's so much damage coming out with the Rhine Swings and the Junkrat spam um, over onto them. They're, looks like they don't really know the direction that they want to go to tackle in there. And Power gets a pick onto Shadow Blade. And they're going to have one fight left pretty much. Katie goes over onto the Reinhardt as well. I neglected to mention that. They're trying to match the brawl potential. Demo gets power points this time. Oh, but a nice shower, a shatter, and a nice. I hey, everyone, take a shower, please. <laughs> we don't like smelly people here. Um, and that's gonna. They're gonna need to clean up this fight. Demo gets XLR. They're gonna need, Team Rocket needs to clean up this fight. Oh, here comes Haley with the whole hog. Oh, with the two headshots onto them. And a third over onto Demo. Katie's going to get a touch. Um, but that seems like they're the only one. Nope, Living Truth is there. Oh, that's a nice pin from Brow onto the nice window. Uh, just to stop anyone <laughs> who's going to even come in. It was not a nice window. Do you see it? it, it, it whoever, oh, I, was, I didn't even have it on the cams. And I was just like, I'm sure it's going to be cutting them off. I trust her. Nope. Um, nope. But that's a nice hold from, um, from us, if I'm going to show you myself. And that is, again, the 3-0-1 victory for Team Rocket. A little weird having us cast our own game. So strange. I, I, yeah, I wanted to give a little this insight, works. I guess, into uh, what we were thinking in terms of, like, the hero play and what we thought mm -hmm. going into the game. So, you know, we try to be as non-biased as we can. But we do have... Um, I do remember the MVP noms, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I know we gave our noms to both Demo and Live in Truth. Um, mm -hmm. And then Prestigious Noobs gave their noms to Rappy and Cat. Um, again, Cat mm -hmm. playing that one map, but having extreme value on it, but both That's the honor and the bat. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Too bad she falls asleep in her chair. She could have played a map last That's week, true. too. Um, but with that said, again, I don't really want to be biased, but I do think that uh, we can go through the through the individual um, roles. We can start with the tank. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of good gameplay there. I do think, though, that... Um, I don't, I don't want to seem like ruin anything. I do think it was like in the weaker point for the noobs throughout that game. Again, I, I've talked about it a little bit. Um, it seems like they had their game plan going into the maps mm -hmm. and what they wanted to run on them. So uh, I think that synergy will build up there if they get like more, they have allowed themselves to be more flexible within games and, you know, mm -hmm. understand what the other tank works with better. Um, but I do think the, the Team Rocket uh, tanks, tank line was just a little bit stronger on. Was that Thursday we played, I believe? Yes. Um, mm -hmm. And in our opinion, I do think that uh, Brow should be the MVP for that game, um, for the tank. Um, mm -hmm. Played so solidly on the three maps that he played. Um, mm -hmm. Getting picks, um, important Diva Bomb picks throughout. Obviously had like so many environmental kills on the first map as well. Um, and it was just a really solid presence playing uh, in that So. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it would be uh, too weird and too biased to give you MVP, but you did absolutely play out of your mind. Um, and I mean, when we discussed uh, it, you were the MVP in my brain, but I think that there's no way that we give ourselves MVP. I, um, I, first of all, I have no problem giving myself MVP, I know but that you as don't. someone who played the tank lineup, I do think uh, 
Brow should get that one over me for that okay. game. Um, but mm -hmm. all three of, of the tanks for us, I think, played really well. Obviously, having Rav come in as well um, is always mm -hmm. solid for us. So, And again, that's no discredit to Zelda, to Katie, to uh, Princess. Obviously, they played that first map super solid, but the main tank lineup was Zelda and Katie for that game. Um, mm -hmm. I do think that synergy will be building up for them as they go along. Mm -hmm. um, DPS, um, this is, there's a lot of DPS um, performers. Yeah, this is the um, hardest one for me. Yeah, again, we can start with the noobs. Um, I, we've, again, we gave our nomination to Demo, who had mm -hmm. so many picks, especially on that last map, too, with the Widow. Um, yeah. But we talked about it throughout Shadowblade was farming, and it's really, Absolutely, um, yeah. I think Every the big fight. one for them was Princess. Um, mm -hmm. That's a play, I think, maps two and three on DPS for them. Um, mm -hmm. They've always been able to play so many different types of heroes, um, whatever the team needs, um, and flexing on that throughout the game. Um, so we mm -hmm. saw them play Hanzo, um, Torbjorn, Echo, mm -hmm. Tracer. Um, I'm sure I'm blinking on a bunch. Um, they had a great value out of there. Meanwhile, for um, us, I think our... DPS lineup was super strong, too. Um, we can start with our mainstays, or people who have been here for a while, but obviously we have Rav. I think they only end up playing one map on DPS. Um, I think, yeah. But they're always so solid too. there. Mm -hmm. Power. Um, I'll say it again. He's the best DPS in Tier 3. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll say that until I die. He is an insane player um, playing, in our, playing in our games. Um, him on the also Widowmaker. Also the sweetest dude I've ever met. Yeah, he's also the nicest person um, I've ever met he's <laughs> the best boy i love power um we have xlar um coming in his fire i think was really solid his junk rat is always i don't i don't really want to talk about his junk rat because considering we know it's, it, we all there. know that yeah we've all been there i think it's fire his sim yeah we uh really great tp we really asked him to play a hero that he doesn't normally play for us mm -hmm. on that first he map really, and he did, did it without question and really helped helped us win that first map. So I mm -hmm. think that's a big credit, but um, we, again, have discussed this. He also got the nomination. I would give the MVP to Rappi, um, yeah. our newest DPS pickup. Actually, our newest pickup in general. Mm -hmm. um, but his Farah on the second point was so strong. He also plays the Ash as well for us on that map. Um, mm -hmm. And then really what solidified it for me, I know we ended up drawing that map, but his Hanzo, he was getting so yeah. many picks for us, especially on that second point, really trying to help us get that last uh, um, the last map. And again, he plays so many different heroes for us throughout the game. Um, mm -hmm. it, it allows us to uh, have so much flexibility within within the maps. Um, yeah, but I, I think that uh, Rappi will be getting the DPS MVP. And I then do finally, agree with you, even though yeah. me and Rappi are beefing. Oh, you want to tell them what happened uh, while mm -hmm. you're beefing with Rappi? No. I'll, t I'll tell everyone it's a nice story. No, After the game, I think it's fine. <laughs> um, Moosh decided to want challenge any button to a 1v1, and I think you ended up being beating B, and oh, you were stop. like, Rappy, you got nothing. And <laughs> Rappy had something. So... Twice. He had something twice. It was not close, and I'm mad about it. I'm convinced he's cheating, uh, and that's all I'll say about that, honestly. <laughs> we are still giving him DPS MVP um, for yeah. this game. Um, yeah, but again, absolutely. solid DPS performance from all of them. And again, I do want to give a special shout out to Princess, um, who has always been so solid for this team, for whatever team mm -hmm. they play for. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we have the support MVP. Um, it's obviously me. I've never seen a better Lucio uh, ever to play Overwatch, I think. Um, taught myself, you know. You only got, I would have given it to you, but on the first map, you only got one environmental kill. Um, and, That's pretty uh, true, even though I did get three. Um, yeah, but on the kill feed, I get credit for one and um, power, power got, got the, the other. For the other. So, yeah, yeah, and the actually, kill feed doesn't lie, so you don't get true. anything. That's true. That's true. Um, <laughs> the other supports that were again, we'll start with the noobs on their side. Um, we gave our nomination to Live and Truth, but let's talk a little bit about uh, Sleepy Noodle. Um, who else were on? Is it support? organic kale? Is that kale, the yes, kale. kale. They were playing a lot of the Baptiste, and they've been playing Baptiste Bap. for um, quite some time. Um, mm -hmm. Bap is probably the best support hero right now. So yeah. having someone who can like really like main your Bap on your team, um, can, mm -hmm. it can be run in any composition that you need. Um, it's super, um, super strong for them. Um, and then I think they've switched off like Sleepy Noodle and Live and Truth really on that main support role. Um, mm -hmm. Sleepy Noodle is. 
Um, very solid. I again, I really thought that their best support player though was Living Truth. Um, mm-hmm. He's so slippery. His Lucio is so good. Um, mm-hmm. Really allows them to like move as a unit, especially on that Volskaya first attack push that they have. Um, mm-hmm. His speed boost engage just like lets them run through those once they have their ults. Um, mm-hmm. And then again, he, he lives for so long just by just doesn't die. being a nuisance and being, you know, playing Lucio how he should be played. So mm-hmm. very solid from him. Meanwhile, for Team Rocket, we had obviously you. We discussed you and how you are bad. Um, yeah. But we also always had Cat. Um, they got the nomination. Um, I, I would really want to give it to Cat. Yeah, but... we're not going to because she only played one map. Yeah. Um, if we went to map five, I think she ends up playing the last map, and who knows what happens. But you know, she's been such a solid pickup for us as well. Um, crazy, really yeah. playing. Um, she played the Ana and the Bat for us on that map, and mm-hmm. she farmed again. The, our first point attack was really let's farm Nano for Cat, get it onto that's me, and then we rushed in afterwards, and that gets us there. Um, she's mm-hmm. able to farm great um, farm her window when she plays Bat, and has great immortality fields to keep us all together. Um, so mm-hmm. super solid from her. Um, and then we have uh, B and and Prof. Wow, we have so many support players. We have so many supports. <laughs> and let's go to her, let's go to her first. Um, obviously, she's transitioning off of the DPS role because she decided to get too good and is now mm-hmm. like thirty two fifty. So high. And then complains that she can't play Farah. You did it mm-hmm. to yourself, champ. Sorry, mm-hmm. but with that, um, you know, we love her and we love her comms within the team. So we're keeping mm-hmm. her on the support role as she's transitioning and learning that. And having her on that main support role um, has been really good for us. We play her a lot of Lucio and the Mercy, um, you know, helping out with the engages there. Um, mm-hmm. And I think really she mostly played the Mercy on... Uh... It's the one she's most comfortable with, yeah. She's yeah. And it, it helped a lot, you know, great Valkyries to sustain the team and keep mm-hmm. us all up. And again, um, having that presence and those comms from her are always nice. Um, to mm-hmm. have, we have B making his tier three um, debut for this season. Um, definitely one of our best support players um, from last season as well. I think he had like three MVPs or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and has always been able to play both main support, flex support, pretty much any of the support heroes that we need on a given map. Um, I think we all trust him to be on that, and it was a really nice mm-hmm. solidifying presence. Again, I didn't play with him on the last map, um, but within that third map, uh, the third map that I did play with him, um, super important on the Mercy um, throughout mm-hmm. to keep the rest of the team alive. You saw him on the peel when Power was getting dove at one point. Um, so really able to bounce around and just play whatever heroes we need. Um, but again, I think the uh, support MVP that we are going with tonight is going to be uh, Prof, um, mm-hmm. Professor Oak, Ph.D., uh, another new pickup for us, but uh, his Ana is insane. He it's is able to yeah. yeah, farm nanos, get huge antis for us, um, and again, just being such a solidifying presence for us within the support lineup. Um, mm-hmm. I think he also only gets up playing two maps, maps one and three, um, mm-hmm. but he's uh, super important for us, and you know, mm-hmm. what can I say? He's, uh, he's one of the better supports out there, and we're, I think we'll be giving him the MVP tonight if Mm-hmm. You agree. If you have anything I else guess. you would like to say, you, <laughs> would you mm-hmm. want an honorable mention? Because I'm not giving it. <laughs> <laughs> no. We're not giving ourselves MVPs here. I um, think we should give, yeah, I think Brow, almost, government named him. Uh, Brow. I said a thing, we said our name. <laughs> uh, Brow, Rappy, and Prof, and then uh, me, you honorable mentions. I think that's fair. <laughs> I don't, I won't officially write that down, but we all know. We all know what's up here. <laughs> we know what's up. Chat, yeah. like we know we know who carried that we game. Know. Um but yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this game. Um no I think there is... is Damn. Well we can check. Check Matt chat, see if anyone wants okay. to. Um I mean this is technically an interview to us since we played in the game. <laughs> um uh, yeah, they said uh the BX Hunter sucks and I don't want to talk to them. So I'm guessing it's a no. That's pretty true. That's yeah. pretty true. Um I think we're gonna call it here. Again, there is another game tonight. It's tier two, I believe. No, this is the um <laughs> This is the oh DP gosh, um KO game yes, tonight. That is right. The last mm-hmm. game for uh week three, it obviously pushed a little I into believe. the next onto Monday. <laughs> Kirby is casting that tonight. Kirby will be casting that tonight. I don't know if he has anyone else with him yet, but 
you know, stream team will hopefully be able to help him out tonight. Um, but that'll be the last game for uh, week three, and then right after that, we move right into week four. Again, this season just keeps chugging along. So fast. It is, it is happening as we go along. Mm -hmm. um, but for myself, the BX Hunter, and your everyone's favorite mod now, just moves oh the up. biggest snark <laughs> over here. Uh... <laughs> Got a vibe. Um, thank you all. Um, we will be seeing y'all later. Bye bye. I can't even say good night. It's still the afternoon. Good night. <laughs>